So if you watch the video on the JM12 AK74U uh, that I modified, I got that blaster from JoeBlasterGun.com. I found a really cool kind of kit for it. Thought it was going to fit perfect, so I was really excited. Uh, didn't fit perfect, but it was able to get everything to work out, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I decided to take one of these Sima AK-47s because I started doing a little more searching for some modification kits, some different... 3D files I could print. So we got an AK, uh, AK-47 here from geltactical.com. So a little different than the AK-74, but not a lot different. And this, there's some cool parts out there. So I thought I'm going to do something similar. And of course, as you do these 3D prints, you do these custom builds. When you do similar ones, you know, you kind of learn as you go and you get better and better. So I definitely think so far, everything's even, you know, turning out better and fitting better as as of now. So I've got everything printed and we're going to start putting it together next. But I wanted to show you um, exactly what I got, what's going on, kind of the build plan, right? So this is the piece that's going to replace right here. So this is going to slide in. So you notice got a couple spots I didn't have painted there because they're going to be completely covered. Those just slide in and that's what's it's going to screw into the bottom there. You can see I used heat inserts. And this, of course, it's still taped from the painting. This is the threads where my barrel nut or handguard nut, whatever you want to call it, is going to go. So that's going to screw on the end there. And then I'm going to go with this handguard that I didn't print. This is actually from an MK, from an MK8 um, or MK18. I always am confusing the two, but this is from the Emmerboo one on, on Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. So that'll work like that there. Okay, and then of course we use the regular receiver part um, for kind of the outer barrel that's going to go inside there because we have a much longer inner barrel on these is this piece. So you can see I've already pr I've painted it. This is actually a metal um, piece of tube here essentially. I think this is actually a piece of metal that was made for like... Um, a light fixture, an extension for a light fixture that hangs down. I It was laying around and I figured I should use it because we didn't need it elsewhere. So you can see that I've already got the little stabilizer there and then I got this stabilizer front piece that also actually also fills in the front of the handguard. So, and then a threaded tip on the end and I made sure the inner barrel goes all the way just past that threaded tip to give it extra stability. On the back side, we're going to put this little piece on, and this is going to allow us to go to a buffer tube. So you can see that that's just, there's room for that to slide in there. There's room for the wire to go through. And then we'll have the buffer tube attached, used again heat inserts, and then actually a rivet nut kind of reversed so that when I screw it, the um, buffer tube in, it's going to be pulling the rivet nut towards it, which is just going to strengthen it, and it's going to stay really good and secure, which is what we want, of course, for the buffer tube. Typically, I don't paint the grips, but this would have been that wood grain look otherwise, and I just thought it would look too out of place. So painted it, just going to make sure to try to touch it as little as possible for several days to really give it a chance to cure. Over here, we've got the dust cover, and, this, and these are both stock, and then the actual spring in your um, charge handle and everything there. So that'll just go back on normal. A little M-lock grip for the front in the bottom. This one has the inserts. So that's kind of cool to bring a little extra color and I put the wrong one on. There we go. So we got that. I also have, uh, see that's kind of curved. That actually will get mounted to the top of the dust cover. That'll be the only spot where I actually drill into the blaster. And again, it's plastic dust cover. And even if you were to switch this back to factory, you know, having a rail on top there would not be a deterrent, I don't think, to most people. Got this is your mag release. I used that on the previous one. Charge handle, I used that on the previous one as well. I just like it. It's kind of nice and a beefy charge handle. Rails for up front. And that's something I was going to do here. Uh, these are decorative kind of for the side and lock covers. 
And so what I was going to do to add some stability, not sure if it's necessary, probably not, but this piece is going to mount right here on the bottom. Okay, so when that's mounted there, this actually becomes flush with the bottom of this. Okay, otherwise this is up higher. So this rail is just going to be mounted on top of this. And there's going to be a slight overlap there just to, again, I think it's just going to give some stability. And this is a really long front end, so have an additional rail there. And having the rail come onto that isn't going to cause any issues. So just something I decided I was going to do. And, of course, that's all still going to be attached to the handguard. And since this slides on, it doesn't turn on. You know, this is the only piece you turn. won't be a problem. Here's a little grip that I thought, again, I could put on that part of the rail. And then we'll have that other grip out towards the front. Okay, lastly, um, since we do have this much sticking out from the front of the handguard, I could go longer, but I thought this already has kind of a long front end. So I'm going to go kind of in reverse and do like a, a recessed um, tip of some sort. I didn't like how this one turned out, so I have another one that I'm making, but that gives you the idea. It's just going to be a, a recessed kind of suppressor like that. So that's the plan. Kind of a long video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Definitely feel like this will turn out even better than the last one. And for stocks, I just got a couple different choices I might go with. You know, really anything with a buffer tube is going to fit fine on this one. So that's uh, cool too. I had problems with that other kit because the special buffer tube for it was very thick and I was able to only get one stock to fit. So with this, we'll have the option of any stock. Comments, questions, of course, please post them below like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and participate in monthly giveaways. And please check back for the kind of finished product video once I get this done, and of course the um, FPS test demo video that I'll do with this too. Thanks.